famous 19th century satirists. Uh, and uh, I read about him on Wikipedia. He was quite famous for a while in the 1880s and 90s, but he died in obscurity. When I read that, I went to my Google Maps and I tried to find obscurity. I, I, I still don't know quite where it is, but I guess it's not a place you'd want to go to. Now there were six wise men from Hindustan to learning much inclined. Who went to see an elephant, though all of them were blind? That each by observation might satisfy his mind. Now the first approached the elephant, then happening to fall against his sturdy side, at once began to bawl. God bless me, but this elephant is very much like a wall. And the second feeling of the dust, he said, what have we here? It's very round and smooth and sharp. To me, it's mighty clear that this wonder of an elephant is very much like a spear. And the third approached the animal, unhappening to take the squirming trunk within his hands, fully up in space. I see, quote, he, the elephant, is very much like a snake. We have a winner in the audience. Now the fourth reached out his eager hand and felt about the knee. What most this wondrous beast is like is mighty plain, said he. It's clear off the elephant. It's very much like a tree. And the fifth who chanced to touch near, he said even the blindest man can tell what this resembles most denied if you can. That this marvel of an elephant is very much like a fan. And the sixth no sooner had begun about the beast to grow than seizing on the swinging tail that fell within his scope. I see, quote he, the elephant is very much like a rope. So these wise men from Hindustan disputed loud and long. Each spoke his own opinion, exceeding stiff and strong. And though each was partly in the right, all of them were almost completely wrong. And often scientific force the disputants I win. Rail on in utter ignorance about what each other means. And they cried about an elephant. Not one of them has even ever seen.